Greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's always a blessing and a privilege to be able to come and share uh, just a few scattered remarks, some things that the Lord has been dealing with me with. And uh, one of the things that I, I wanted to say just real quick for today is this thing about time. And people say that they don't have time for God, they don't have time to do this. But do you realize that a butterfly is a caterpillar longer than he is? A butterfly and the time span of your life is like the butterfly to God I mean we hear one moment and gone the next so it's almost arrogant to tell God we don't have time for him he don't want your time he wants your life he wants your a life for a life and I know you've heard that before he said that he's given us life and that much more abundantly Christ gave his life so that we might live it's a life for a life so there's not pre-programmed spaces that we're supposed to just carve out for him he wants all of us that's why when Paul was preaching he would say stuff like pray without ceasing because it was an ongoing continuous relationship that was ever building real worship is a lifestyle worship is the way you walk talk act feel think conduct yourself on a daily basis rather than something you do once a week reading of his word he compared it to eating food he said I am the way the truth and the life he said I am the bread of life he said eat of my flesh and drink of my blood so that's something that you do every day so the concepts that we have as it relates directly to God himself are off and normally they're dictated by people who don't have any true devotion in their own walk and only profess him as convenient arises in their minds or they confess him conveniently when needed or in trouble or very reactionary and he never intended that what that to be the way we access him his intention was for us to forever be growing in him daily communing with him and then in that place you'll find that your life will change substantially so I just wanted to say, take the time and, and, and watch what you say. You don't have time for this. Because if anybody's ever been sick and you couldn't go nowhere with the flu or whatever, no matter what you had to do, it stop. If anybody had to go to a funeral, somebody who was planning on doing something the next day and they died, it didn't matter what they had to do. It stopped at that moment. So let's be careful and not be so arrogant with God. Let them know, you, well, you know I got to do this. Do you realize that you can be incapacitated at any point or any moment and you won't be able to do those things that you so desire? So include him with everything you do. The Bible says it like this, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Paths that are directed by God don't include a lot of the stuff we include anyway. So he'll clean up your path so then you'll have all the time you need. So I just wanted to give that out as a word. Again, we got a lot of things that are coming to you. Scattered remarks, you know, we got music, we got a lot of things. We want to have specific prayers to break strongholds and these kinds of things. But I want that to be said. He wants your life. So give it to him today. And you and yours have a blessed day. Amen.